Hi everyone. I have been thinking about you and holding you in my heart in the midst of the virus surges and the fire and the smoke. This summer I'm out of the pulpit, as we say in minister speak, meaning that I don't have preaching or upfront responsibilities on Sunday mornings. Thankfully, as you know, we have extraordinary people on the worship team and amazing gifted and present speakers like the Reverend Karen Packard, who spoke last Sunday so meaningfully and movingly about connection. It was a wonderful service that you can still experience online on UUCM's YouTube channel. You can get to the service recording from the sermon section of the UUCM website. This Sunday, as we alternate Unitarian Universalist voices from near and far, my dynamic colleague, the Reverend Leela Sinha, speaks to making powerful trouble. One of Reverend Leela's gifts and ministries is to help intensive people navigate a world of moderate people, or expansives, as Leela names us. I can't wait to hear what Reverend Leela has to share in this particular moment. And how about you? How is it with your spirit, given everything that swirls around us right now? I shared in my Mountain Chalice column in UUCM's monthly newsletter that this turn back into more sequestered life once again, while not at all surprising to me, it's having more of a weighty effect on me than I expected. Those touches we had of reconnecting on site recently, face to face, fed me in a deep way, even as they required more social energy to navigate. And so this part of the ride has the feel of one of those roller coaster drops with a stomach clutch and a withholding of breath and a certain kind of building emotional momentum into the next catch and rise. Years ago, in my first trip to California, a friend took me to the Six Flags amusement park near Los Angeles, where I enjoyed a very large roller coaster, including a serious corkscrew section. I enjoyed it a whole lot more than I would have expected. I took the ride twice, in fact. I'm not sure I would take it now, but I googled Six Flags roller coasters to make sure I was remembering correctly. And it turns out you can take each of the roller coaster rides from the safety of your own chair and computer or phone screen. I chose the Twisted Colossus roller coaster, figuring that it sounded most appropriate to these days. When that first, first big, big drop came, even though I was simply watching it on the screen, my hands went immediately to cover my mouth. Apparently, to keep me from screaming like everyone else in the video. <laughs> Partway through the ride, I realized, who cares? And I screamed along. The whole experience was amazingly cathartic. I tend to head toward quiet, gentle, soothing music and slow, deep breathing and mindfulness meditation these days. But I tell you, I felt so much better after that virtual roller coaster ride. <laughs> Something held got released. It helped me express and validate more of my feelings. I hadn't realized I needed that. You might consider trying it. Whether or not you give a virtual roller coaster a try, here we are together on a real emotional and spiritual roller coaster ride. Virus, fires, smoke, politics, plus all the personal layers of grief and loss and worry. Some of it is about strapping yourself in and hanging on once again. Some of it is about letting go and relaxing into the twists and turns. Some of it is about screaming when that's what's needed. Some of it is about knowing that you are not alone, even though we are in our separate cars during the ride and can't always see each other. All those years ago, I left those roller coaster rides aware that my internal organs had all been shaken and 
perhaps slightly dislodged. It's disorienting. The world wobbles for a while afterward. It also helps one to see the world anew after that journey. Know that you are not alone, my friends, in your worry, in your sadness, in your withheld breathing, in your shakenness, in your screaming, or in your questions, or in your hope that this journey through the ups and downs and the twists and through the disorientation and wobbliness, your hope that the memory of the ride might help us live into a new day, into new and more real ways of being who we are, each of us and together. Hope that the ride will help us move toward a world that is more sensitive, more compassionate, more just. May it be so.